hello guys welcome back to my channel in this video dr mount monroe shared some powerful biblical secrets that can help you upgrade your finances and of course live a life of financial freedom so if you're looking at gaining financial freedom and you want to live a life of impact then you're watching the right video because dr mount monroe literally broke down a lot of things in this video so please take your pen Grab your paper as we take a deep dive into this video. Listen, if you are in a kingdom, you own nothing. If you own nothing, you can lose nothing. Nor can anyone steal. Mm. So crime is only possible where ownership is present. profound statement <laughs> now here's the problem I call it a culture clash you were brought up in a culture just like I was that trains you to think ownership the whole culture is built I mean capitalism is built uh, the Western society is built. The whole culture is built on two ideas. One, independence. Two, personal ownership. And both of those concepts are anti-kingdom. That's why people are stressed out. I'm going to show you from Scripture tonight why God keeps money from you. I'm not, I'll show you right from the Bible why he does. And he does it because you are a capitalist. You are a earthling. And you are trapped in a system that encourages the belief that you own things. And that very belief is what's keeping things from you. Oh, please, Lord, help me. And somehow I'm praying for God to break that thing from your mind. That's going to take a while because you were brought up in that. But we're going to start tonight. And you need to ask God for, how about a miracle? Yes. Yes. Anybody want a miracle? Ask, put your hand here. Say, Lord, destroy my ungodly thinking. Remove from my mind the cultural damage of the world. And give me your culture of the kingdom in jesus name i receive it hallelujah praise god he, he have to heal your mind and this point is important in a kingdom the king owns everything personally number four the kingdom gives the kingdom gives his wealth to his citizens to accomplish his purposes in the colony this is a very important statement the kingdom and the king the king himself he owns everything and whatever he gives you is not for you it's for his purposes in the colony this is important because the moment you think what you receive is yours then you lock it up you stop it with you you hold on to it and that is anti-kingdom if God cannot get it through you he won't get it to you anything God gives you is to accomplish his purpose in the colony I remember the scripture that explodes in my mind at the moment. Deuteronomy chapter 7 and chapter 8 are important chapters to read. It's when the Lord brought them out of Egypt. He began to tell them how they must think, their attitudes. And then he said to them, he said, he said, I am your God. And it is I who will give you the power to get 
wealth. Now that word power there means ability or skill. I will give you the ability, the power, the skill to get wealth. And the sentence ends like this. So that I might accomplish my covenant that I made with Abraham. In other words, I'm going to make you wealthy to fulfill my covenant in the earth. So anytime the king gives you resources, remember, your first question should be, which is for? Not who it's for. What's it for? Because you won't say it's you. It's for me right away. And that leads me to this important final statement and introduction. And that is the kingdom citizen is responsible and accountable to the king for the use and the management of his resources. Please be sure that everyone in this room gets a copy of this CD or DVD when I'm finished. Because I'm going to give you a lot of information. You need to convert your thinking. And to do that, you can keep listening to it at least seven times. You can listen to this thing seven times to get your mind changed. The kingdom citizen is responsible and accountable to who? The king for what? For the use and the management of his resources. He owns everything. He gives it to you for his purposes. And then he makes you accountable back to him as to how you use it and how you manage it. I'm sure this video was a blessing to you the same way it literally blessed me. I now know why money actually runs from people. Now some persons have said that, I've heard it quite a lot of times, but it looks strange that money actually runs from people. But I'm sure you also know why money do run from people. And please ensure you implement some of the principles or even all the principles you learned from this video. In case you did not take down your notes, please do that. Watch the video again and ensure you take down some vital principles that can help you gain financial freedom. Because right here on this channel, what we talk about is about finances and how you can make more money. And of course, applying principles like these taught, I mean principles taught like this by Dr. Mount Moreau would literally help you gain financial freedom. And of course, I'm applying the principles and getting the results and that is why I'm also sharing with you and if you got value from this video smash the like button and don't forget to subscribe to this channel because we talk more about finances and how you can grow your finances more videos are displaying right now on the screen you can click to learn more and don't forget to drop your comments in the comment section